So I was on YouTube the other day. There seems to be this trend where people are doing pottery and they are getting so many views. And being the bandwagon that I am, I've decided I need to become a pottery boy if I am going to see any success in this life. If I wanna pay my bills, I gotta be a pottery boy. So first things first, to be a pottery boy, you got to have an apron. And I actually have an apron. Oh, oh my gosh, and the apron matches my shoes. What a blessing. And then the second thing I needed to get was a pottery wheel, which I was actually going through my cabinets and I forgot that I bought a literal pottery wheel since I was trying to find a new hobby and I didn't even know I had it. So I got this, holy, this is heavy. This whole pottery wheel. I need to clean my counter. Wait just a second. Let's open this up. Hopefully it doesn't need batteries or something since I do not have batteries. There's the clay, look at that. I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit. Need a little bit of modesty. <sighs> There's the pottery wheel. This looks fancy. So I think this is the thing you step on to make it like spin the pottery wheel. Do I need batteries? <gasps> oh no. Power source not included requires AC adapter. That's what it looks like. This kind of looks like the thing that my brother actually has for his piano. Let me call him quick. I think it should work. Let's see. <gasps> I'm gonna have to move the table like over this way. Dang it. <laughs> Step one, take a piece of clay and start kneading gently. Once clay is ready, form a ball and place it in the middle of the wheel. I got a water bowl right there. Somehow it's wet, even though I bought this months ago. The first thing I'm gonna make is like a little cup. I feel like every pottery guy ever on the internet just makes like the cup and people eat it up every time. And it looks so easy, so simple. Hopefully this makes me go viral. Do I need a bigger? Hmm. Once clay is ready, form a ball. So I need to knead it first and then somehow I'll know if it's ready or not. This smells cancerous, honestly. Okay, put it in the middle. Press the palm of one hand down while the other one pushes the side, okay. gonna get another piece of clay. This is getting too tricky. I think I needed that other one too much. Oh my gosh. Ow! It's kind of burning where my hangnail was. Something, I'm doing something wrong. Am I not needing it long enough? Okay. I should have used a bigger chunk of clay, but honestly, it, maybe it's good to start out this small since I am a beginner. But yeah, so it was spinning and then it's the clay piled up on my fingers a little bit. But like, this is a pretty good start, honestly. So I prepare the form and now I need to give shape. So what I'm gonna do is put my thumbs in there and then kind of spread it open. So what happened was it was starting to get a hole in the middle. Let me just take, okay. Let's just restart with this piece of clay. But what I was doing was all of a sudden I got like hollow in the bottom, which I think was since I wasn't using enough. Let me, you know what? I'm gonna actually grab this thing of clay back and we'll see if we can do it. This taking my whole day and I haven't even sculpted one thing. I'm gonna rip this off. I don't know what the heck this does. Oh, well oh, that works. So what I'm doing is like, if I push against it while it's spinning, it goes higher up. <gasps> Wait, I totally did it. I think I need to get like a scraper or something. I did it. I did it. I think these knives are to like take it off from the bottom. Oh my gosh. Wait, did I just ruin it? The bottom broke open. Let me, I'll try and fix it. Hang it. Once you have shaped object as desired, remove your foot from the pedal, pull the cord underneath. Oh my gosh. 
You use that, not the freaking knife. They should add that on the first page. Wait, I just had a flashback to like one of those pottery videos. I feel like they always start the video like this. They make the ball and then they go like this, like that. Maybe that's what I've been missing, okay. I just almost got clay in my eye. And it's kind of stinging. Where's that string? Let's try and cut this off. Oh, I totally did it. Am I supposed to design it right now? I guess these have little designs on it. And like you do it and it spins and it sculpts the design in it. Let's try this one. Looks kind of fun. This is so impossible. I must be doing something wrong. For all the videos I've ever watched of like the people doing the pottery videos, not once have I seen them knead it for five minutes. Are they buying pre-kneaded clay? Is this like some cheap clay? It looks like real clay. Okay, that feels good. Okay, so now that I got this good base, I'm gonna try the mouth again for the 50th time. Okay, I think I made a cup. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh my gosh, the littlest baby cup. Aww. I kinda did it, I kinda did it. Let me put it right here to dry. I wanna do, there's a half closed form where it opens up like in the middle and then it like closes on the top. I think I'm gonna do that. Honestly, I thought the pottery guys didn't wear a shirt because like either the clay would ruin the shirt or I also thought it was because they were just thirst trapping. But now I'm starting to realize like I'm already starting to sweat. This is my final project for the night. I got the hole in the middle. And now I'm just gonna hopefully go go back over it. <laughs> Boom! It almost looks like a shell. So the middle's hollow. You can't tell since I closed up the top. Not on purpose, but I'm gonna pretend that it was on purpose. And... And that should be good. That looks just like a little shell. So it says on here, allow the clay to air dry for about 48 hours. And then once the clay is completely dry, use the included paint and paint brushes to decorate. So I'm going to clean this up and I guess I'll see y'all in two days. What up y'all? It's been 48 hours since I made the pots. And where did I put them? Oh, there they are. They are no longer wet. And then these are the little paints. I need a water cup to switch around the paintbrush. Hmm, I think this one, I kind of want to look like confetti maybe. And then, and then this one, I think I'm gonna make it, I don't know. I don't know, we'll just find out. I'll just paint and see how we go. They really didn't give me too much paint to work with. Maybe there's a paint shortage that I am unaware of, but I'm just gonna strategically do little speckles throughout. And then maybe let's do some red dots now. I think I'm gonna skip green and maybe just do the primary colors. Honestly, I'm just gonna call it right there. Look, it's kind of quirky. It's kind of goofy, kind of silly. And the funny thing is, no one knows that inside of it, it's hollow. Okay, what should I do for this one though? Let's see what this piece seems to be trying to say to me. Hmm, it does kind of look like a nest. I'm gonna just do the whole thing kind of yellow and then I'm gonna put two little white eggs in it. Hopefully I can just like spread it out. So that's kind of what I did. I kind of textured it. And how do I make like a little egg shape? Let me do like a, maybe like a blue tint on some of, some of these eggs. Okay, that freaking ruined it. <sighs> See, there you have it, a little nest with some baby eggs in it. I'm probably gonna put this one right by my nightstand and maybe I'll put this one in my bathroom and like put rings in it or something. Thanks for watching this video, y'all. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next one. Bye.